I'm gonna go over why you should not pay your mortgage down faster. Say what, really? Let's do this. How's it going? My name is John and I am a mortgage broker located in Vancouver. If you wanna learn ways to be approved for a mortgage, home buying tips, and other mortgage related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking on the notification bell so you won't miss anything. Conventional wisdom tells us to pay down and get rid of your mortgage as fast as possible. You have a 30 year mortgage, pay it down in like 15 years. Every paycheck or bonus you get, put it straight to your mortgage so your principal gets reduced. And I'm here to tell you, you should keep your mortgage as long as possible. This conventional wisdom of paying down your mortgage made a lot of sense before the financial crisis in 2008. Interest rates were at around five to 6%. And during that time, it was a good idea to pay down your mortgage as fast as possible. Every time you pay into your mortgage, you're guaranteed a return of five to 6% because that's how much you are saving. The alternative would be to put it in a savings account or invest it, which will be similar or less than your mortgage rate. But now, times have changed. After the financial crisis, rates have been coming lower and lower and lower. At the time of filming, I just did a mortgage for someone at 1.85%. That's the rate that you get for putting in a savings account. It's like you're becoming the bank. But because rates are at record lows, this conventional wisdom does not work. You actually want to keep your mortgage because you're getting very cheap money. When you have extra cash, there's always a decision to make. Should I put it in the mortgage or should I invest it? Now let's look at option number one, putting it in the mortgage. What you're doing is you're guaranteeing yourself a rate of return of your current mortgage. So say for this example, 3%. Are you able to find out an alternative? Because assuming that you don't have a home line of credit, once you put the money towards your mortgage, you can't get access to it anymore unless you sell or refinance your property. What many people are doing is using an investment strategy called leveraging. Leveraging means using borrowed capital for an investment and expecting the profits made to be greater than the interest payable. With using 3% money, look for investment that will help you get at least 5%. So currently, if you buy a bank stock like RBC or TD, the dividend that they pay out is at least 5%. And that's just a dividend there may be capital appreciation on top of that. So say you get a return of say 8% from your investment minus the borrowed money of 3%, your net return will be 5%. So if you had $10,000, a 5% return will be $500. This is much better than your guaranteed 3%. This strategy isn't for everyone though. If you don't know much about investing, it may be best to take a conservative and safe approach and put it in the mortgage. But there's definitely better options available offering higher returns. You can choose to invest yourself or hire an investment advisor or financial planner to help you with your investments. And there you go. We just went over why you should not pay your mortgage faster. And please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel to learn more and make sure you click on the notification bell so you won't miss a video. I'm John Lee, mortgage broker and CEO of Arise Mortgage. We're always achieving your approval.